mixed reaction to split verdicts involving current and former St. Louis police officers. The federal trial centered around the beating of undercover detective Luther Hall. And Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live tonight with reaction to the jury's decision. Jeff. And it is possible that uh, two of these accused men, uh, one a current officer, one a former officer, could be back in court. That's because uh, the jury unable to reach a verdict on some of the charges. But the bottom line, the jury found no one guilty. Relieved and grateful were some of the words from the attorney representing Officer Stephen Cordy. We're ecstatic that uh, he can return to the St. Louis City Police Department if he so chooses and he can remain a uh, person with a reputation intact. Jurors acquitted Cordy and Officer Christopher Myers of violating the civil rights of Luther Hall. Myers could still be retried in connection to the destruction of Hall's phone. The jury was unable to reach a verdict on that. Detective Hall was beaten while working undercover during protests involving a police shooting. The evidence clearly showed he had nothing to do with the deprivation of civil rights, zero. Step by step, frame by frame, the evidence was there. Jurors were unable to reach a verdict against former officer Dustin Boone. It remains to be seen if federal authorities will retry him. This is about what's fair, and that wasn't fair. A friend of Hall and former head of the Ethical Society of Police said the verdicts rendered by a jury that began as an all-white jury with one black alternate added is a reflection of a deeper problem. The accused officers are white, Hall is black. And when we talk about the problems in the criminal justice system, you just saw it. You just saw what it is. That's what it is. In America, there's two, two different systems. There's a one for people like me, and there's one for everyone else. An official statement from ESOP reads in part, we do not receive the same level of justice when white police officers are accused of excessive force towards African Americans. You cannot get past black and white. This is about black and white. This is the realities. Even if you are a police officer, even if you are a police officer, what I am first, what Luther is first, is black. That's it. Now we have reaction from the candidates for mayor, both Alderwoman Kara Spencer and Treasurer Tashara Jones weighed in through social media. We'll have links to what they had to say. You can find that at fox2now.com. Reporting live downtown, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.